You're watching UTV News. My name is Ina Kosinska. Good evening. Ruslan Stefanchuk is the new chairman of the Verkhovna Rada of Ukraine. 261 MPs voted for his appointment to this position. Stefanchuk is a representative of the Servant of the People faction for more than two years. He was the first vice speaker of the parliament and the representative of the president in the Verkhovna Rada. The vacant position of the first deputy chairman can be taken by another representative of Mone Majority, Alexander Kornienko. The Servant of the People faction states that the renewal of presidium composition will make the work of parliament more efficient and accelerate the adoption of reforms. And the opposition is afraid that submission of amendments to bills and discussion documents on the podium will be impossible for them. Working in Parliament has taught us to believe in deeds, but no words. We have already seen what is happening in the hall of the Verkhovna Rada when Mr. Stefanchuk precised. We see that the rules and regulations are being violated. We see that the opposition has no word, and there is no way to raise its amendments in the hall. We had a single candidate. He was proposed by the leadership of the faction at meeting of our faction. He is the most prepared because he is a doctor of law and academician. Moreover, he worked for two years as a vice speaker. Therefore, it was the only candidate that was anonymously supported by all representatives of our faction. MP of Ukraine Anton Polyakov died as a result of acute coronary insufficiency and acute coronary heart disease. This was stated in the Kyiv city prosecutor's office. The investigation is now awaiting the results of forensic medical research. According to preliminary police information, this night the Polyakov was found unconscious in the back seat of a taxi. The car was stopped by police officers for traffic violations. Doctors tried to resuscitate the man. The Parliament of Ukraine honored the memory of the People's Deputy with a minute of silence. Polikov's colleague in the deputy group said the day before the deputy was worried. There were emotions, nerves. We see that politics in Ukraine is not a clean matter, and Anton was simply a lover of truth. He never complained about his health condition. He was an active parliamentarian, constantly speaking emotionally. The negotiations in the Normandy format were discussed by phone by the head of the office of the President of Ukraine, Andriy Yermak, and the assistant to the U.S. State Department Commissioner for European and Eurasian Affairs, Victoria Nuland. They also talked about strengthening the role of the United States in the negotiation process for a peaceful settlement of the situation in Donbass. They spied in favor of Russia and they paid for it. NATO intelligence confirmed that eight members of Russian mission to the alliance were undercover Russian intelligence officers. According to NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg, on the basis of this information, their accreditations were withdrawn and a decision to expel the Russians was made. Earlier media reported about NATO's decision to help the Russian mission to the alliance. Withdrawn the accreditation uh, of uh eight members of the Russian mission to uh, NATO uh, who were undeclared uh, Russian intelligence uh, uh, officers. Uh, and um, and uh, this decision is not linked to any uh, uh, particular uh, event. The, 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 the decision to withdraw the accreditation of uh, eight uh, members of the Russian delegation to uh, NATO was done based on intelligence. Uh, was done because uh, these are uh, uh, undeclared Russian uh, intelligence officers. Uh, and uh, and uh, we have seen an increase uh, in, uh, in Russian malign activities, not least in Europe, and therefore we need to act. Security in the Black Sea, apartments for Crimean Tatars and military technical cooperation. These topics were discussed by the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine, Dmitro Kuleba, and the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Turkey, Mevlu Cavusoglu, in Lviv. The meeting was devoted to the prospects of Ukrainian and Turkish cooperation in the areas of security policy, trade, defense industry, energy and infrastructure. Our correspondents have more details. Apartments for the Crimean Tatars who were forced to flee from the occupied Crimea to the mainland Ukraine will begin to build this year. With the support of the Turkish government, half a southern, families will be provided with housing. We will continue to make joint efforts to ensure the rights of Crimean Tatars in a sovereign country. And we will continue to work on a project to build housing for Crimean Tatars. And this year we will start construction. 
another important topic, defense cooperation, in particular the production of Turkish drones in Ukraine within the framework of the joint project Bayraktar. Turkey is interested in the capabilities of the Ukrainian Antonov. The effectiveness of our aircraft has been vividly proven during the recent fires in Turkey. And Turkey, according to the Minister of Foreign Affairs, appreciated this assistance in the fight against the elements. In your presence, I would like to once again thank you for your support in extinguishing forced fires in my homeland, Antalya, and in other regions. We will never forget the manifestation of this solidarity. In the context of Russia's occupation of Crimea, the issue of security in the Black Sea is on the list of priorities for both countries, Ukraine and Turkey. Mevlut and I are convinced that a balance of security and interests must be ensured in the Black Sea. The Black Sea should not be a space for aggressive action by any country. Ukraine and Turkey are working closely together to achieve this goal. Negotiations between ministers are preparation for the 10th meeting of the high-level strategic council chaired by the presidents of Ukraine and Turkey. They will take place in Kyiv at the end of January next year. The strategic partnership between Ukraine and Turkey today is at the highest point of development over the past 30 years. And the especially trusting relationship between presidents Erdogan and Zelensky has become very important in this. As a result, the parties signed a plan of consultations between the ministries of foreign affairs of Ukraine and Turkey for the next two years. It provides for the exchange of experience of specialized professionals. Reported by Nick Starkov, Yulia Bil for UATV News. The launch of the Crimean Platform Summit showed Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky as an active politician in the foreign political arena. This was stated by the head of the Ukrainian Forum at the Chatham House, Orisa Lutsevich. In her opinion, the Crimean issue had not received enough attention before. The Crimean issue was actually dropped from the agenda. If the Normandy format existed for the discussion of Donbass, Crimea actually sacked. And it is a great merit of Zelensky's team and the Minister of Foreign Affairs to bring the issue of Crimea's deoccupation back to the international level. Tale about Crimea with the help of contemporary art. A multi genre exhibition Step Chol was opened in Kyiv. During the months, visitors will be introduced to the Crimean Tatar culture. In particular, they will present works in such genres as painting, installation, photography, music and performance. Our correspondents will tell you more. The Step Chol exhibition was opened with the performance late. The curator of the project is the famous Ukrainian artist Lotko Kaufman. Together with the actor, symbolically reaped the harvest. For this, roofing materials was used as a symbol of the high road to Crimea. Roofing material is a material that accompanied the Crimean Tatars, but they called it since Soviet times there was a such name Chol sheet metal. So this roofing board accompanied them back to the Crimea. They cover their temporary dwelling with them. They whitewashed the sides when they made a wedding. Crimea is not only mountains and the sea, but also a steep. It became the main theme of the project. Step is Chol in Crimean Tatar. We tried to cover all sides of our culture, the history of the Crimean Tatar tradition. And one of these parts is the relationship to space. There are paintings, photographs, installations by Crimean Tatar artists in four halls of the Ivan Honchar Museum. Some present their work incognito for security reasons. Venera Abibuliva presented the photographic installation House. I have collected 10 photographs here and each is called House, because home is different for different people. For some, home is where they are expected with a cup of coffee, for others, where figs grow. The multi-genre exhibition Step Chol is a part of a large-scale project The Way Yell about culture and art, the traditions of the Crimean Tatars, which started in August this year. Famous artists, journalists, bloggers take part in it. I was asked what the path and the step, Yol and Kol are similar. It is the way to our step, to our free, open, boundless Crimean step. We will definitely go this way. Today I'm very glad that we will also see modern art. Within the framework of the project, exhibitions will be held in the Crimean House and the Ivan Honchar Museum. By the end of October, organizers are preparing a unique collection of applied art, costumes, embroidery, household items of the Crimean Tatars. Svetlana Sitch, UATV News. 
Teacher of the Year is resident of Luhansk region Artur Prydakov. Now he will receive a quarter of a million hryvnia and a ticket to one of the most prestigious events in the sphere of education, global education and skills in London. More than 3,000 teachers from all over Ukraine tried to win the title Teacher of the Year. Our correspondent met with the finalists of the award. Literature through podcasts, chemistry through TikTok, physics through cycling. This is how the most progressive teachers of Ukraine present the school curriculum. Artur Praydakov from the city of Kadyevka, Luhansk region, became the teacher of the year. Artur Praydakov! After the start of the Russian aggression in Donbass, Artur moved with his family to the Sumy region, and now he teaches the Ukrainian language and literature in one of the private schools in Kyiv. It was important for me that children not only learn the Ukrainian language, Ukrainian literature, but also receive some information about Ukrainian culture so that they plunge into the Ukrainian cultural and mental field. In his lessons, Artur uses popular social networks and modern Ukrainian music, runs a Telegram channel to prepare for tests and records podcasts. Despite the creative approach, the teacher of the year himself admits that he did not even expect to win this award. In the final, teachers competed in four traditional nominations – maths, Ukrainian language and literature, labor training and the head of an educational institution. There was also a new nomination for teachers who work in the contact line. The winner is Tamara Umenska, a teacher from the Luhansk region. I have children in the same class, five children who do not live at home now. I do not call them internally displaced persons as, for example, myself. I call these children children who are temporarily with us, so they all hope that someday they will return home. I don't want to be a teacher on the frontline territories. I just want to be among the teachers of Ukraine, like all my colleagues. Not only jury members took part in determining the best teacher of the Global Teach Prize Ukraine. The winner of the nomination choice of Ukrainians was a physics teacher from Odessa, Pavlo Viktor. During the online voting, he was supported by more than 23,000 people. Pavlo gained popularity thanks to his blog on YouTube, where he already has 832,000 subscribers. Some still video uh, local. The style of video tutorials is as close as possible to real lessons. In fact, there is no a single editing moment there, it's all real. At first, in general, it went live, but then it turned out to be inconvenient because it was necessary to be distracted all the time to see if the internet was broken, so they recorded it on a hard disk and immediately uploaded it. Those who watched these videos, they seem to be present in the class. Many lack this and we have a good company. The election of the Teacher of the Year has already become the fifth. In Ukraine, this award has been presented since 2017. The purpose of the competition is to popularize the teaching profession as well as to inspire the use of modern methods. Teachers can apply for the Global Teacher Prize 2022 from October 11, reported by Nick Starkov, Valeria Nikipelova, Valeria Sarachan for UATV News. That's all for this hour. More updates on our official website, YouTube, Twitter and Facebook pages. Thank you for staying with UATV channel. Goodbye.